Hey, what's up guys? This is Liam or Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video today. We're going to be doing a news roundup of lots of cool things happening in the community and with the game of Overwatch. New information has been announced about the league, including the seven teams announced too. But the one thing that we do find very interesting is that they have confirmed there is going to be cosmetics in the game that are directly related to to the Overwatch League. Now I want to speculate a little bit about this before we go any further because I think there's a lot of potential on the cosmetics they could make. I'd love to hear some of your thoughts as well but of course as always they could do some skins. But one thing that my brain really likes the idea of is actually hats. I've always wanted hats in Overwatch and a while back there was some information that Blizzard put out saying that they have tested hats before and they did indeed do some ones for Christmas. So could we have some hats with some logos of people's favourite teams and stuff like that? I think that would be really cool. Maybe some t-shirts too or very specific skins for some heroes maybe if they're in the city that the Overwatch League players are from. Maybe Tracer gets a specific Team London and whatever that team is in London get that logo on her skin or on her gun as a camo. We've said for some time now that it would be great if they would include the option to have any gun on any skin among one hero. So maybe you could take any gun that you wanted and then you could have a specific spray or camo on that gun for your favorite team or the team that is local to that hero and where they live. Something else that would be cool is victory poses or highlight intros. Maybe the hero could hold up the logo of their favorite team or just maybe they could hold the Overwatch League trophy in a highlight or a victory pose. Roadhog carrying the trophy to victory I think would just be really cool or any hero and ways that they could go about this. I just think there's a lot of options for them to do. Games like Call of Duty do have pro players on skins and CS go does have sprays on their guns so that's definitely something 100% I think we'll see whether it's on the guns we don't know but there will definitely be sprays of people's favorite teams to put on the walls and the floors in the game of Overwatch now Reinhardt has had some issues for a while and some people haven't even realized I think how bad some of these issues have been there's been reported issues with his charge his fire strike melee swings and his earth shatter Every single part of his kit has had problems for months now, some of them being way severe and more often than others, and some of them have been fixed too. We know that Earth Shatter got the height nerf slightly, and that also affected it in some ways, but it seems like Blizzard are finally going to be approaching this in a big way. Jeff Kaplan has said that they're looking into the reported issues with Reinhardt, and the next part I think is important for us and for you guys too. If you see any bugs, make sure you post them on YouTube or wherever, and then get a link to them on the forums because that seems to be the place that Blizzard read through the most and the most consistently. So putting any bugs with Reinhardt or any hero on there is probably the best way to get them addressed. So hopefully these weird quirky melee animations, slow fire strikes, dodgy earth shatters are going to be fixed hopefully when the new PTR finishes and drops Doomfist live, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. We already know they're looking at Roadhog. You can check out yesterday's video if you have not heard about that. They're going to be changing him so he's more defensively so maybe we'll see some kind of changes on the PTR in the next week or two and as I say get them live as soon as possible. The final thing to talk about is the Overwatch League. There have been seven cities announced around the world and I'll put them on screen for you guys now. However there are no current EU teams for the Overwatch League, which is a bit of a problem because who are we going to be rooting for here in the EU? Oh, wait, hang on. No, we left. But they are looking for teams in Europe, which I think is something that people have looked over. The problem is, for the most part, the people buying into these teams are like billionaires. So it's very difficult to find the right people to buy the right teams in Europe. Of course, Blizzard are looking to expand the Overwatch League slowly over time or hopefully quickly because I really want to get this thing going. I want Overwatch to be a really good competitive esport because I really believe that it can be. But the Overwatch League is taking a while to set up and everyone is still asking so many questions. Now one thing that is true is that a lot of these teams are NA teams and the best NA team, Envious, even though they aren't all from the NA, they're the best team in NA, don't seem to currently have a spot. So what we've got after this post is a lot more questions than answers. 
Can old teams full rosters move over to these new teams when they get announced in cities? Do their current contracts affect them from moving as a team or will they be drafted and moved individually? We've heard both sides of this from Blizzard and other people in the community saying different things. So everyone's a little bit confused. There's so many more questions than answers. I mean, for example, where do the best teams go? What about the Korean teams? What's going on with Lunatic High? What about the best players in the world? We don't want to upset the Koreans. It's where the strongest percentage of competitive is coming from for Overwatch, where the viewers are. So many of them are in Korea, so we definitely don't want to upset them. Are these teams that aren't in it yet, are they going to be in it? Will they be allowed to play in the event? Immortals, Misfits and NRG are the teams that are currently in the Overwatch League under these cities. But is it going to be their roster? Is it going to be a different roster? We don't know. There's just more and more questions in every single direction. What we do know is that they're trying to make it like a real sport with calendar days, match days, match times, every week set times so everyone knows where that is. We're not necessarily sure that's something that needs to be in the game because the game's worldwide. So when people watch it, someone's always going to be in bed. I mean, there will be an optimal time to get the most people to watch it, but it's not really physically possible for them to be able to have it when everyone's awake. So that's one thing that we think is not necessarily super important. So what I can do and will do in the description is link you guys some articles to read through. I've covered the meat of it and it really does come down to the fact that there's more questions than answers right now and it's a shame but it is happening slowly but surely. The skins and stuff I think is a great move forward. I'm always happy to have more skins, voice lines, anything like that. A voice line of Tracer rooting for Team London. I just... I'd love that. I don't know about you guys. Let me know what you think to anything I've said in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out our Twitter and our Discord where you guys can find the Jeff Kaplan main of your dreams. Be sure to hit that bell icon so you guys get notified when our videos go live. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and have a great day as always. Take care and peace people.